Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Village 2. So in the last episode, I ended up having Case build this lovely school behind me, as well as the library that is in front of me. Granted, that does look a little bit different, doesn't it? And that's because I had Case work on some upgrades in between episodes. In fact, let me grab, let me grab my list because <laughs> I, <clears throat> I might get I'm a little busy. <laughs> But that is because I'm trying to get stuff set up to at least level 3, but we're definitely going to need to do a nether raid because level 3 requires nether stuff. So, glowstone and nether brick and all of that. So, yeah, we're going to have to... I might have to go and disassemble a nether fortress, but let's go ahead and check out the upgrade. So, I have a guard tower here. I've got one up here as well as a down there. You can see it right there. So we've got the level 2 guard houses. So I made sure that they were on the same level as the other ones. That way, you know, we can have our guards, you know, kind of working all at the same level. And I do have guards in all of the guard posts now, which is phenomenal. So this is the library upgrade. So the bookcases are all taller. And then I've got two people in there. Both of them have future jobs. Because today I'm going to have Case work on two more builds, but we will get to that here shortly. So the hospital now has a upgrade, and so they, you know, the hospital is now actually inside instead of out in the open. So Rodrigo over here is taking care of all of our lovely citizens. In fact, Case ended up getting sick while I was having him build stuff. So definitely really glad that we got the hospital up and running. So that, you know, they can get cured. Now, here is the restaurant. So, we got this all upgraded. And if we come over here. So, Jalen now has an actual indoor area where she can end up working. Which is fantastic. Let's see. I did both of those. Let's see. Library, hospital, restaurant. Oh, and then I also upgraded this house. Is it? No, no, no. Not this house. I ended up upgrading one of the houses over in this direction. And that one right there, because that is actually going to be where Cody is going to be moving into. He's going to move in with Ember, uh, because he is going to be our shepherd, which is one of the buildings that I want to put together. In fact, since we're up here, let's do, let us do the, the graveyard first. Now, I, yeah, I was going through the graveyard and I could not find one for Nordic, which was really weird. It's like, okay. Um, originally thought, okay, well, maybe, maybe I'll do the one for, um, for the spruce. And I wasn't, I wasn't very happy about that. So, I mean, they've got, let's see, yeah, the medieval ones, jungle, fortress, Asian, and all of that. And I'm like, eh, I wasn't too happy because the medieval ones turn all stone at level five. In fact, let's, let's go ahead and switch this over to level five so you guys can actually see. And we'll get this in place. Now, this is definitely more like a church. And so, uh, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. So this is, yeah, it's not quite like the rest of the Nordic area, but this is what the level five is going to look like. And so what I figured is that once we get this built up to level five, I can change out some of this stuff in order to make it a little bit more along the lines of this. But the other ones, like if we go to like the Asian, definitely not going to work. Acacia was close. I thought about possibly doing this one, and in fact, now looking at it, it might actually work better, but I don't, I don't have the acacia and stuff, so that's, yeah, that's one thing that, eh, but yeah, so this is, you know, this is a little acacia one, so I mean, it is, it is a possibility, but I'm going to go ahead and go with the Caledonian one, and then once we get to level five, we can make adjustments from there. So let's go ahead and get this back into place and get this loaded up because I've got all the materials for, you know, for case to build this. So let's bring this up one. So it is on level and then for level one, it's really simple. See, so not, you know, not a whole lot to it. And this is one of the reasons why I was thinking, okay, well maybe we'll just go with this and then I just can change up the level five. So let's go ahead and put that into place. And then Case will say, hey, I'm going to start working on this. And then I'll get him the materials. But I want to show you guys this and then also show you what I'm going to be working on. Because I'm going to be working on building up the stables today. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I decided to do the shepherd as well. Because with the shepherd, then I can move the sheep down here so that I can have Cody work, you know, 
on taking care of the lovely sheep. So let's go ahead and get over here. I'm surprised that Case hasn't said, hey, I'm going to start working on this. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything in chat. Okay. All right. Weird. But that is all right. Let's see. We want to go. We want to do the shepherd and we want to do the Nordic one. Here we go. And, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, this way? Maybe? Yes. <laughs> nope. Nope. That's definitely not it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I've got I've got this all kinds of backwards. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It is definitely it is definitely a rather big build once it gets to the level five. But I thought it was gonna look really cool with the farmer, you know, with the farmhouse right here and all of that built up and then the shepherd right next door. So this is, you know, this is in fact the front door and then We'll have the sheep over here. So this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be great. So let's go ahead and get this done into place. And then, yeah, and then so let me come up here. And I'm going to show you guys what I, you know, where I'm going to be building the stable. And and then I can get to work on that while Case gets to work on building the other stuff. And then I'll have to figure out what's going on with Case. Normally he says, hey, I'm starting building on this. So he may be, um, he may be stuck somewhere. <laughs> or sick. That is, that is the other thing that, you know, the villagers have definitely been, you know, getting sick and stuff. So we've got the two sheep in here, which I'll take to the shepherd. And then this right here, this is going to be our lovely, lovely stable. So I'll have a spot for the donkey. And then I want to get a horse up here and then a spot for the llamas. So I will have to, yeah, I will have to see about trying to fit all of them in. I don't know if I can fit all of them. I might have to take some and, you know, bring them someplace else. <laughs> Because they're not going to fit. So we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see how that all plays out. So I'm going to go find out what is wrong with Case. And, you know, because with, with those builds, there wasn't much to them at the level 1. So I didn't figure that we would actually do a time lapse. So I'll have Case work on those. I'll work on the stable. And, yeah, and so once, you know, some of that stuff is done, then I'll bring you guys back. So Case and I have both finished our build. So this right here, this is the lovely Shepherd's Hut. And I've went ahead and brought over the sheepers. Now the shepherd can only have two at this level of the hut. So luckily I only have two. So that works. Oh my gosh, these bats. <laughs> They're everywhere. In fact, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's no, there's actually no lights in here. So that would explain why we had bats. So let's go ahead and manage the workers. In fact, let me, let me double check. I can't remember which one. I think it was, yes, it's Cody. Cody is supposed to be our shepherd. So let's come over here. We're going to go manage worker. We want to hire Cody. So there we go. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can recall Cody over here. Hello, Mr. Cody. How are you? You are okay. You're going to need an ax. Okay. I can definitely, I can definitely work on that. So let's go ahead and check the settings. So we want them to breed. We do not want him to die and we want him to shear. So what will happen is breeding allows us to get the meat. Shearing allows us to get the wool. So that is going to help out a lot. And so that's basically, you know, what all this stuff is. So I need to get a X. I don't, oh, I do. Awesome. Okay. Um, oh, this is, oh, never mind. This is a level, this is a level one. Cause what, yeah, it just needs a stone level. So I'm not gonna be able to actually, yeah, this is an iron level. So we just need to grab some of the uh, planks. So let's grab, let's grab these and I can quickly make a couple axes for him. All right. Hi, Cody. Yes, I know you want some axes. I got, I've got some here right for you. There you go. Okay. And then we got some food for you too. Okay. So hopefully that satisfies Cody. So let's go ahead and head up here to the graveyard and then we can go ahead and get Alan hired over here. And that's also going to allow us to free up the library to hire some more people. I haven't quite decided yet what I want as the next couple of builds, I need to try to figure out how I want to kind of set all of these things up. Cause yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely lots of space around here. Oh, and then while, um, while Case was working on this, I also ended up the, the wall now goes all the way around the colony. So other than on this side, which cause you know, I'm still working on my stuff over here. So I'm not hundred percent sure where I want to put the wall over here as of yet. So let's go ahead and come in here and we want to, oop, nope. Okay. We want to, 
maybe there we go manage workers and we want to hire Alan so we are going to hire Alan here and then we want to recall worker see if he needs anything nope does not need anything and Alan is just gonna go wandering around now I did end up adding in these uh, frosty blossom trees because you know the the blue leaves kind of look like tears and so I'm like you know that kind of seems appropriate for right in front of the you know the cemetery so we'll see we'll see how that ends up working out as you know as we end up getting that bigger and you know the the higher level so let's go ahead and head over into the uh, stable area and yeah I have absolutely no clue where <laughs> where Alan is going um just yeah Alan is just wandering around yeah I don't know okay <laughs> I, I don't know if I particularly like him just, you know, kind of wandering around, but you know, hey, it works, I guess. So let's go ahead and head over here. You can kind of see it through the trees from over here. And we, I also need to get rid of this right here so that I can actually start using this space for things as well. But here is our stable. So we've got, I ended up having to remove the one uh, run spruce tree that was right here. It, yeah, it was a little too close. And you can kind of see the donkey in there. Hello, donkey. But yeah, so we've got the stables all done up so we've got a nice little area here that they can drop this down so they can load up you know the the hay bales and anything else that they end up needing to go up there and then if we come over here i can show you guys the side of the thing so i kind of use the same thing as up here grant i do it looks like i do need to add in maybe a torch or something up on the top just to light that up a little bit but yeah, so that is, you know, that is the uh, side of it. So just, you know, just like those. And then I did use the dark oak underneath to kind of differentiate the, the two. Since this is, you know, just a single story. And it goes all the way around. And we got this over here. Oop, and I forgot to pick this up apparently. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. And yeah, so that is the outside. So let's go ahead and come in here. So we've got the donkey. I need to go and get a horse and then that'll allow me to bring another one in here. And then I could also end up breeding them up to get mules if I want to do that. And then we've got our lovely llamas over here. So there's a total of five of them. <laughs> it was a little bit of a pain to try to get them all in there, but they've also got water so they can go, you know, swimming or drinking it or, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever floats their boat. But yeah, and then up here we've got like a little table. We've got the hay bales. We've got barrels, uh, both the vertical and the horizontal ones lanterns a little sleeping thing and then a chair so somebody's you know somebody's kind of you know been living up here and you know just kind of hanging out and then taking care of you know the stuff in the stable and then yeah so we got this right here which you know would normally go up and down in order to bring the stuff up here for the storage and then they can end up bringing it down to feed and water and stuff the lovely the lovely animals in here so for this area, I do need to do like the bone mealing and stuff and then definitely want to do something with this, you know, definitely want to kind of make it look more like it's actually like a pond rather than just like a hole in the ground, <laughs> which is currently what it is. Now, in between episodes, let's see. I need to see about going and raiding the nether. That is definitely something that we need to get moving forward in because the level three stuff requires a whole bunch of nether stuff. And I do not have, outside of the glowstone, I have, you know, I do have a whole bunch of that thanks to the bees. But like the nether brick and some of the other things I don't have a whole lot of. And in order to get moving forward on some of these things, like the rails, I need the hut over there to be a level three. And so I need to upgrade this to a level three as well as the, um, the, oh my gosh, the courier's hut. There we go. Need to upgrade that to a level three. The library, I think needs to be a level three for some of the stuff. Same way with the restaurant and I think the hospital. So there's definitely lots of things that I need to look at for upgrading. And so I'm going to try in between episodes to do a, a massive nether run so that I can have the materials in order to start upgrading some of the stuff. But like I'll need to upgrade that to a level two and that still needs to go to a level two and there's still so much of the housing. Oh my gosh. There's so many things that still need to get upgraded even though, you know, <laughs> we've definitely been doing a lot of it. But yeah, so in between episodes, I'm going to continue working with Case to try to get these upgraded and then, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do for the actual housing and stuff because if we come over here, we go My Colony, 
We've still got all of these that we could end up doing. Like there's a blacksmith, the sifter, barracks, enchanter's tower, plantation, you know, all of these. And then we've also got these as well. So like the apiary, chicken. I don't know if I want to do all of these. And then the bakery. So we can start making the bread because that would definitely be good, especially considering that we do have a whole bunch of wheat going into the system. So I will definitely have a think. If you guys have something in particular that you want to see uh, case build, then definitely let me know. And then, um, and then I'll also see about what else I need in order to get, you know, upgrading the stuff over here as well. Cause we like, we need a, we need a kennel and stuff as well too. So maybe we'll do that here. Ooh, we could build kennel. <laughs> thinking on the feet. But yeah, so I definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. We definitely got a lot done. We now have a stable that I can house the horses and the llamas and, well, the horse and the donkey, you know, as soon as I get the horse. And then uh, we now have a graveyard so that my citizens can now be properly buried if, you know, if we end up losing any more. And then we've also got the, the uh, shepherd so we can start getting the wool and stuff automated as well outside of the string that we get from our bees. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.